I remember my first experience with the House of Mas Milano and smelling Tango for the very first time. This joint blew my nuts back. This might be one of the fragrances that got me like crazy on Cecile Z and her perfumery skills because every fragrance that I've smelled of hers has really like just taken me by storm and has been like, yes, this is exactly what I like in a fragrance. But this one had something remarkably different off of my skin. It was just so warm and sensual, super seductive, very inviting, and the name Tango really appealed to this fragrance based on my skin as it had that close romantic encounter, this sexual deviancy about it, this dark, rich, robust, slightly loud, but also type dirt bag. Like I'ma sneak up on you and do some inappropriate things and you're gonna look at me crazy for about two and a half minutes. Then I'ma give you my number. It's like the dude on the block that always thought that grabbing a girl's hand while she was walking by was gonna get a good reaction until the one day it potentially did. That's kind of what happened here. So I recently went over to the Max Aroma shop and I saw a bunch of red bottles from Mas Milano with all the popular labels like Tango followed by Oud. How does that? I did a couple of sniffs there and I'm like, huh. And then I saw the price point and I was like, oh, dude, Jesus. Like, why would you take Tango and these other popular Mas Milano fragrances and throw Oud in it? I know how crazy Mas Milano can get with these potent ass Ouds. And I've been rocking these fragrances for a couple of days now. And I want to share with you guys my true impression as well as a really fly offer that your boy has put together. Let's roll my fucking music so we can check out some of the Mas Milano Oud fragrances that last for Bless you, one of my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Max Aroma for letting me review these fragrances. And make sure to stay to the end because I'm going to throw a fire offer for you guys. Don't fall for the trap. If you're interested. So I got three fragrances from that Mosque Milano Oud line that I have been playing with, but with full transparency, one in particular has been getting more wear and has really captivated me surprisingly. So the three fragrances I'm gonna be talking about today are Tango Oud, Russian Tea Oud, and Mandala Oud. Now these Mas Milano joints are part of the Ruby collection, right? So my whole thing was if it's gonna be part of a Ruby collection, I don't only want a gold and red bottle, which I absolutely love the presentation, but right here, I would have put like a Moissanite or a Lab Diamond just to give it a little bit more opulence, bougie maybe a Zorowski crystal cap, or maybe like a CZ base or something, just to give it a little bit more opulence because these are very expensive fragrances that the consumer really will find impossible to justify this shit. It's like, ooh, car payment or fragrance. Big talk. Now the idea of this entire lineup is to make a richer, more opulent, beastier, and dare I say more animalic by taking these popular Mas Milano fragrances and bumping it up to significant levels of performance. Now let me be crystal clear before I give you my interpretation of these fragrances. None of these shits have lasted less than 24 hours. Now let me just repeat this just in case it fell upon deaf fears. None of these joints lasted less than 24 fucking hours. What? The divorce is coming soon. She was ready to buck 50 me. There was no way that I was getting this off my skin. I got out of the shower full loofah, deep in the nuts. Could not get them out. Every spring held no weight. So performance, yes, yeah, there. Now let's start off with the fragrance that I knew I was going to love right from Rip, Tango Oud. My initial love for the OG Tango kind of had me like not wanting to smell this. I'm like, if it ain't broke, don't just leave it alone. Like don't fuck with it trying to bump up the Oud to next levels of ridiculousness if it doesn't need it. And truth be told, I don't think it needs it. But this converts into something all its own. I'm potentially gonna die making this video because I wanna do interpretations as well as share my full dry down wear experiences. It's a lot, bro. Like I'm even getting gas, I'm like GERD acting up. So one of the main things about this Tango Oud that happens is there's this green menthol herbaceous, uber rich green soilish Oud explosion that comes off of this fragrance right from rip. There's no point of sexiness on the opening of this fragrance for at least five minutes. But the magic starts to happen after that five minute mark. But you gotta be somebody that not only loves Oud, but really likes rich, resinous scents. There is a strong, animalic, almost slightly fecal scent if you get up close, like I am now. It, it smells 
like pigeon asshole. Cuba, what do you know what pigeon asshole smells like? You never been hit in the face with a pigeon walk in the city? You ain't in New York. That niggas know my body, bro. Look at me, nigga. So off of my skin, what really popped off, other than the oud, the oud is definitely the most prominent, the most beast, what really sticks on your skin like a magnet. Such a beasty, harsh leather that provides this cloak of armor on your skin and then slowly starts to unwind into this beautiful cinnamon and sweet amber and continues to unravel the vanilla vibes, then the pepper. And then when you start getting all cozy and comforting and shit and you're like, yo, this is a vibe. And everybody within a seven mile radius smells me and cumin pops in and then you're like what does that smell back here is that the fish did i shower today there's a lot of layers and confusion in this scent off of my skin that really threw me for a loop like within 15 minute intervals i was like damn i'm feeling myself like tweet and then i'm like oh what the fuck is that i'm confused i thought i was having a seizure and shockingly after an hour i barely smelled however my mom's was around my chick was around my son that doesn't complain about anything was around and everybody said the same thing like this is a lot we're talking about three sprays everybody was like my guy that is just i was that dude i hate being that dude so as much as I love the original Tango and still think that it's my gem slightly over this, this has a lot more body, a lot more performance, a lot more rich, spicy, and leathery vibes off the skin, and provided me a lot more confusion until the full dry down where it actually became super dark, very rich, and sexy at the same time. One thing I can say with an extreme amount of confidence, there's nothing cheap smelling about this fragrance, including the price tag, but there's nothing cheap, synthetic, messy. This shit smells of the utmost rococulous quality that I've smelled in a deep rich fragrance. So when it comes to comparison between this and Tango, my personal taste, the original Tango was more wearable, more sexy. This is somebody wants an uber rich, luxurious, oud pronounced fragrance with the sexy elements that just will never come off. Next one. Bro, now this one is the one that I could not stop enjoying. From opening to dry down was a masterpiece off of my skin. Absolutely love it and I'm looking forward to colder weather to really enhance this incredible beast of a tea fragrance. Definitely the most powerful tea fragrance ever experienced in my life and that's Russian tea. Ood. Love this fragrance on my skin. Wow. I want to smell it immediately. Get that sprayer. <laughs> Ugh, this nigga's spitting right now. I ate half of it. I don't need to smell the test strip. My God. Are they coming? Look, I got like fuzzies and shit from my sweater. Along with goose pimples. The most incredible tea fragrance I've experienced. Beautiful, bright, vibrant, herbal with this kiss of sweet and sour. Oh, incredible, the greenery in here. Smells like tarragon, mint, thyme. Cultivating this and growing these in your garden next to your fruit, your mandarins, your tangerines, a little bit of a grapefruit vibe. And you're doing all of this while wearing your leather jacket. And you're just waiting for that teapot to boil to take these herbs off and put them in that tea and make yourself grandma's concoction that cleared your lung out like if you took a shot of Buckley's. This is symphonic. It's a beautiful composition of an opera that you first got to experience experience through a Bose surround sound system with 48 speakers properly balanced and it's just flowing harmonically that it's going through your entire system with a sensory overload that gave you a chubby. Gay! Although this ruby line is all about accentuating this animalic oud, not only beautifully balanced, but still manages to be delicate. Now I'm a tea fan, not only in drink, but in fragrances as well. Something about tea notes fire off my brain receptors and give me this kind of neurological sensation of this divine energy that is magical. For a fresher oud fragrance, 24 hours. I got yelled at for wearing this also, but I got yelled at for wearing 90% of the fragrances. I Tango oud almost got me murdered, but this one was tolerable even in the car with the windows up. It's awesome that I get to experience a new fragrance that's fresh and light with tons of body and amazing performance in the cold weather. This shit is fuego. Next one. Now mandala oud was another unusual experience. I didn't smell the original mandala, at least I don't remember, because I did a Mosk Milano kit maybe three or four years ago with a bunch of samples in it. It could have been in there, but it definitely didn't leave an impression, so I don't remember what the original smells like. 
However, proceed with caution. If you don't wear a silk robe and your Uber doesn't have four legs and a huge hump on his back, this might not be for you. What season should I wear this fragrance, Kuba? Arctic. Yet somehow you managed to get an oud fragrance with the note of frozen inside. This shit smells like an ice box that was sprayed with oud. There is a cold, icy scent off this fragrance that smells like frozen oud. I know it's weird. I mean, there's really no other way to explain. Like, it smells like frozen oud. It smells like ice. It's not menthol or like Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh, I broke a bone. Let me put some Vicks on it. It's fucking ice. It's ice with some floral sweetness, like this very mild floral, but there's something in here that is sweet and icy with all the oud you could potentially find in the world. A little bit of sweetness. The color white just continues to circulate in my head. White, fluffy, plush, icy oud. Off the test strip, this is something that I didn't experience while wearing this fragrance. I'm getting more of like an incense -y type vibe along with that icy sensation randomly. Very interesting. Off my skin, it didn't move me crazy. I knew it performed incredible because of the complaints, but there was no compliment factor in it either. But out of all the fragrances, this one in particular felt like a Molecule 01 type scenario. Like I didn't smell it on myself. Everybody smelled it around me, as I was told, in the bank. But me, I kind of was just like, whatever. What I made sure not to do was spray this on my clothes because I didn't want this to stay in the fibers forever and a day. So if I'm gonna go between these three, my favorite, I think we can pretty much pinpoint it based on my reactions. Russian tea is straight heat. Tango Oud is a grenade of full body winter vibes. And this shit is just ice oud. Now here's when the fun part happens. I wanted you guys to get this same experience that I did. Have the ability to compare and have these monsters in your collection with the originals as well as the Ruby collection. So therefore, for a limited time, if you purchase any of these Ruby collections listed in my video, Max Aroma is going to throw in a 100 ml of the original fragrance for free 99. So you get to experience the original and the oud, form your own conclusion and have your own visceral experience between the originals and the oud and get to experience these contrasting notes and how taking a DNA that is solid and boosting it with some oud, more Middle Eastern vibes and elevating the performance level to like Brillo brush removal, now you got a chance to. Not a cheap fragrance at all, I completely understand, but getting a two for one, both 100 ml, can put you in an amazing story starting point to building your niche collection instead of spending $450 on some Creed bullshit that's gonna have you smelling like Ronaldo the transmission tech down the block that ends up partying in the Jersey Shore of Hoboken every Friday afternoon. The candy, eh? I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. All the information will be in the description listed below. This is only for a limited time and definitely for the niche snobs that want some powerhouse ballsy sense that will annoy everybody around them. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. You want a little oud in your life? Get ready. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.